ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, somebody called the fire department. Rick James is in the house today. Y'all remember? Busted out! I know y'all remember. Busted out! On the fear of the fire. L7 Square. Tina Marie. Busted out! Wait, wait, wait. I don't think y'all understand. Hold on, Rick. hold on, hold on. Rick, give me one second. We're busting out on the funk. Busting out. We're busting out on this serious funk, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, he said we're busting out on the L7 Square. He just did the song with Tina Marie, her album, where she does Square Biz, L7. Okay, Square, L7. They're doing a triangle. Oh, else they're doing the triangle. I'm sorry, most people don't know about the triangle. Ah, uh, Mason Illuminati, the triangle. They just call it an L7, the square. They make a square and they turn it sideways. And you know, okay, just in case you didn't know, all right. Just in case you didn't know, that's Rick James. Somebody asked me today what I knew about Rick James. Please, I got brothers and sisters who went to Rick James concerts, where he's sitting up there smoking a foot long blunt. Okay, I, I I didn't appreciate that when I was a kid. Didn't like Rick James because of that, but you know, I'd listen to me some. Busted out! Just in case you didn't know. Okay, just some of the songs that he did, I cannot listen to. She's a super freak. I can't do no freaks right now. Mm-mm, too freaky for me, okay? Can't do no super freak. But you and I, fire and desire, and let's not forget Rick James and Smokey Robinson. Y'all remember Rick James and Smokey Robinson? Come on, I know y'all remember Rick James and Smokey Robinson. Ricky, Smokey! Oh, oh, and let's not even forget about Ghetto Life, okay? As a matter of fact, I gotta get Ghetto Life. Whew. Gotta get ghetto life. I'm, I'm downloading Rick James right now. I have him, but I don't have him, you know. And I don't. I won't. I won't listen to Mary Jane. I will not listen to Mary Jane. I love her just the same. But Ebony Eyes with Rick James and Smokey Robinson. Ebony Eyes. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the person asked me what I know about Rick James. Please. All right. Now. I gave him a response. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was hilarious. And he actually said he was uh did that lame old thing, laughing my anus off. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it was hilarious. I just can't tell it to you guys because I'd have to go back to the phone and find it and tell you how I responded to him. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, welcome to the Eon channel. Hey, I got some news for you guys. It's gonna be real short. For those of you who are using the document, you know the document I'm talking about, the Enri document. The one for small claims court. This document. This document that fits every situation possibly imaginable. Any situation you have, except for your situation with your neighbors. This is not for private civilians. Situations with private civilians. This is only with corporations, corporate fictions, public officials, public agencies, government sponsored corporations. This is for them. Nonprofit organizations. This is for them. There is no such thing as corporate America. The people when they brought forth the Constitution, did not imagine, did not envision a so-called corporate America. There's no such thing as a corporate America. Okay? The people didn't authorize a corporate America, didn't authorize a corporation to run America. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can also sue their EIN numbers. I forgot. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell y'all. Like I said, a multifaceted document that covers everything. You got somebody who's in jail. Everybody keeps saying, my buddy is in jail. My mama's in jail. My brother's in jail. My cousin's in jail. Oh, God. And he's in jail, too. And I don't even know that mother. Okay? You got anybody who's in jail. They're in jail because their rights were violated in the first place. No, no, no. I admit, people do crime. They should do time. No, don't take my word for it. Understand, that was my understanding. It always will be my understanding. You do a crime, you should do the time. That's 
voluntary servitude because you volunteered to be locked up when you do a crime. However, the law requires due process of law. What is due process of law? That they will follow the process. Something that is void of process is void of law. Something that is void of process is void of law. That's what this document explains. That submitting one to the court's jurisdiction and violating your rights, ladies and gentlemen, they don't have a right to violate your right. One deprivation of a right means all the rights have been deprivated. That's a maximum of law. You cannot violate one right and then claim that everything else in the process was legitimate. It's called the Parisianist Fruit Doctrine. That's in the document as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this applies to them. If their rights were violated to put them in there in the first place, now they are going to have to fight. They're going to have to bring it all the way to the courts. Supreme Court, the issues are already in the document, ladies and gentlemen. All of the issues are already here. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to add anything. This is your section for telling what your story is. This section right here, okay? And it's called the Declaration. Don't say the Declaration of Independence. It's the Declaration. It's not the Declaration of Independence. It's the Declaration of 1776. It's not the Declaration of Independence. That's a different document. That was created by somebody else. The Declaration was the official document. So the Declaration of 1776. Okay, just wanted to make sure we get that out because so many people are going to want to add and change. I got one person who told me he's amending it. Go right ahead, knock yourself out. But I want y'all to pay attention. This doesn't need to be amended. It says everything it needs to say. You don't need to add anything extra to it because it deals with the fundamental. Seven, excuse me, 470 laws, statutes, federal statutes that were enacted by Congress that affect the lives of Americans in a vast range of matters. That means it was unconstitutional. And how do we know it's unconstitutional? The author of the bill seems to be unknown. No one has told us who drafted the bill. Well, you can't have a secret bill. The author has to be known. It has to be signed by a member of Congress. It has to be, pay attention, it has to be sponsored by a member of Congress. That's called the legislative process. And they were trying to find out who sponsored this bill, and they wanted to get more details. They only had 38 minutes of debate. 38 minutes to debate this bill that changed the history of all Americans and those coming into this country. Now, I got a question before I go, because we're we done. I, you, you guys can go over the document. You can see what it says. You can see what it covers. But those 470 laws that Congress enacted, oh, and it also has this rescission of contract item attached to it. Like I said, it does everything and anything. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a question for you. This video is definitely going to be less than 10 minutes. My question is, how in the world? Rick. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, how in the world can Europeans, yeah, you heard what I said, Europeans come into this country Pay attention. The individuals coming from the Ukraine can come into this country. And people from the African nations can't. People from the Latin nations can't. No, no, no. See, they're complaining about the African nation individuals and the, pay attention, Latin nation individuals coming to this country. But they're just flooding into the country. There's millions of them. They're like roaches. Millions of them. Millions of them? No, 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 no. Go back and listen to the report. Millions of them coming into the country. Millions. Oh, God, there's just too many millions. That's a whole lot. A million? Oh, Lord. Where's the documentation of millions? They're just giving estimates. Where's the documentation? They're just saying it. Ladies and gentlemen, Latins, Hispanics, African people from Africa can't come here. No, they're coming over here to bomb the country. They're coming over here to do an invasion. Yes, it's an invasion on the border. No, we got to lock that border up. Isn't that interesting? I, I'm just saying it's all, but they can come through Ellis Island. It's okay. No, come on. We'll take your impoverished, your poor, your wretched, your injured. We'll take them through Ellis Island, but we won't take them through our southern border. <laughs> Man, hypocrisy is a mother, ain't it? Gotta go.